and the waterfalls here as well. What's this called? Kilt Rock. How's that getting on there? Pleasant. What's happening? Uh, we got out of bed. We made it. Um, it sounds real windy outside. Um, real cold, real miserable day, but. Um, So it's a real cold day, uh, it's real windy outside, um, but I think today might be one of my favourite days because um, Nat's like obsessed with otters and we're going otter hunting, so hopefully um, we actually see some otters because I and just know her reaction will be priceless because she absolutely loves them. Um, yeah, so I just got to get through the shower, finish getting ready and then um, head out, head out, go try and find some otters. Hopefully we do because uh, she'll absolutely love it. Oh, the length of your hair is just ridiculous. Oh, I love it. It's very fleecy, don't show the It's world. not, it's shiny. <laughs> Tell Nat how beautiful her hair is. <laughs> Are you excited today, Nat? Yeah. Are you excited? I am excited, man. I hope we get to see some otters. Uh, bit of a change of plan. Uh, I don't think we're going to look for otters today because. Um, I think it's going to be a bit too much of a struggle, innit? It doesn't sound like they're as common as we maybe thought they were. No, and so, she said it, they were, like, it's more... Um, what's it's back towards where we were going to go tomorrow anyway. So we're going to go and look for us tomorrow. But um, I think one of the good things about our sky so far is um, that it's that small and there's that much stuff in such a small space is that you can just, like, drive around and you just find loads of cars parked at the side of the road like this. And like this and then uh yeah you just end up finding stuff so we don't actually know where we are we've just stopped like on the way to a what we were gonna go see a waterfall weren't we yeah and um, so we just stopped on the way to a waterfall we've actually found something um, we're not sure what it is but obviously we're about to go find out what's this called rock. kilt rock how's that getting on there pleasant We're at the fairy pools, it's really cold, I'm gonna die by. Proud of you. Fucking hell! <laughs> so the reason that risk life and limb uh, across that river is to come and show you how blue this little pool is at the bottom of this waterfall. It looks cool, man. Uh, yeah, okay, this is worth it. I wish it wasn't cold. Uh, we took a bit of a scenic route. Um, well, obviously we we're meant to be on that side of the river, but uh, as you can see, we just crossed because we wanted to see the waterfall properly. And uh, I think it's paying off pretty well because we can see loads up here now. So everyone's stuck on that path across the road, but we've got like a little sticky out here, a bit of land here. Um, I think it's just going to look it. My God. Uh, you know, look how blue it is. Uh, this morning 
is our last morning in Sky, isn't it? <laughs> um, we're, we've just stopped off um, by the bridge, the bridge over there, you see. Um, that's how we get home, that's how we get to the island. But we've, um, on our way home, we've um, stopped just before the bridge because apparently this is a good place to see otters, so we've just come to see if we can see an otter before we leave. But aside from that, I think that, that's it, isn't it, for, yeah. for Isle of Sky. So that was a trophy. Anyway, I'll see you when we get home. Oh, and for the otters. Lucky otters. So, uh, obviously, as you can see, we're um, back at home now. Uh, we didn't find any otters. We did have a little look around on that um, on that little beach for a little while for some. So it's pretty sad that we didn't find any. <laughs> I mean, we got this one as a teddy anyway, but... Uh, yeah, we didn't find a real otter, unfortunately. Uh, but we just wanted to do a little review, didn't we, I think, I guess, of, yeah, of, just, the, of the thing after. Just like a quick catch-up of the trip, really. Uh, so I just wanted to say about the cow shed, which is where we stayed when we were in Sky. Um, we stayed in one of their little pods, which was £50 a night, which was absolutely amazing. Um, we loved it, didn't we? Yeah, just the hostel was like, they were so helpful. Like, the, literally the only tiny thing that was bad when we were there is we had, like, one drip of water come through, like, next to the window. And we literally told them, just for their Not, sake... It wasn't one drip, was it? it, no, like, it was it was, like, it was like a constant dripping. So, like, the pillow was soaking in the morning, but... Yeah. But yeah, we but we didn't really mind, and then like we went to go and tell them about it more for them more more than us because it wasn't really bothering us that bad. Um, but we went to tell them, and they were like shocked, really, weren't they? They were like yeah, like so determined to help us. It was yeah. ridiculous. Like point us in the right direction for things, and um... yeah. But we'll leave a link for their trip advisor in there in the description. Yeah, because they deserve credit really because it was actually really good. We've left really, a review. Really good. Really good. Uh, of good points. So obviously it was like just mega beautiful. Like the views were just awesome, weren't they? So beautiful. So so good. Just everywhere. Um, I think my favourite part was probably the fairy pools, wasn't it? Um. Oh, it was for me anyway. You enjoyed other stuff more. No, actually, I think the fairy pools probably were my favourite too. Yeah. Yeah, like they were just really pretty weren't they like just insanely beautiful yeah it was really good like i think it would be really good to go back in summer and like i think if you'd put the highland cow next to the fairy pools yeah you <laughs> would be certain that the fairy pools were the best or if there was an otter in or the fairy an pools because what we saw was not an otter either no. it just ended up being we googled it it was like a ferret or a like weasel a, or something we don't know what it was it was really bad another thing we got so lucky was uh, with was the weather yeah we were so lucky with the weather amazing like all we heard like leading up to the trip was like horror stories of like mist and it just raining all the time just being yeah. mega windy and like someone described it to me as being in a snow globe because like <laughs> you're literally like they said that when they've been all the clouds and all the mist are just above you and you can't see like anything around so it's like being in a snow globe but we yeah no we it was, didn't have it any was of awesome. that it was like just... it was a bit windy but apart from that like <laughs> We were so lucky. A lot windy. Uh, I think the only bad point we probably have is how far away it was. Like, it just really was a trek, wasn't it? Like, we... Yeah, I don't think we realised, did we? No, but... I think we managed to see everything we wanted to see while we were there that first time. And I don't think we'd deem it worth driving that far again to go and see it again. No, like, if we were going somewhere else and we were that way, like, I would like to go <clears> back just even just to the fairy pools in summer. Like, but not specifically just to go back to Sky. Yeah, I feel like, I... yeah, once. Yeah. I think we pretty much just saw everything we went to see, didn't we? I don't, yeah. I don't think we really so. missed anything. No, I don't think so. Just uh, otters. <laughs> but I feel like it was actually worth driving that far the first time. Like, yeah. I don't like doing it once, yeah. I'm more than happy to do that. Um, yeah. Is sort of what we love doing in it. It's just going on little adventures and exploring yeah. the world. And it was nice to actually just see it and um, see what it was all about. We've not done a big road trip since Newquay either, so. No, yeah. It was we've... really fun to just go and drive and... Uh, we actually added up the miles, how far we went. Kind of. Yeah, sort of. So we we basically measured up from home to Edinburgh, where we obviously went on the way there, from Edinburgh to Sky, and then Sky back home again. And that, just that was 923 miles. Yeah. Like, just that bit. And literally, we were driving around the whole weekend, weren't we? Like, driving yeah. from different places. So we've definitely, we definitely would have done yeah. over a thousand miles, without a doubt. Especially in Sky, because like, we got lost, I think, two or three times. So. Yeah. <laughs> But they were they were they're just like the main legs and that yeah. like during that journey as well we actually crashed a car 
We, we didn't, didn't crash the car. Well, I, it was, well, you it, slid off the road yeah, a little Yeah, slid bit. off the road. We had to go back and swap cars. So obviously we yeah. actually did do like probably 10 miles. Yeah. And then like slid the car off the road in some ice and then like turned around to get the other car. Yeah, because <laughs> we got la- a flat tire. Yeah, we got a flat tire. So yeah. <laughs> we did that and like the whole like just their main legs of the journey, not including that crash and not including all the like messing around we did while we were there. That took like 19 hours and 23 minutes just yeah. in like... Just and that was all, just like, pure driving as well. Like, obviously, we stopped because... Yeah, had breaks and stuff. We like, needed drinks really and weeds like... and food and stuff. And that so. was only over, like, four days, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, like, that, that was a yeah. mad... That is a mad... That is a lot of miles. We did a lot more. Yeah. But I did really enjoy it. Um, and, yeah, just, just sort of want to say thanks as well for watching. Yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, the Isle of Sky in Edinburgh. We really did. We thought we thought they were both awesome places. We had a great time. And we'd recommend it to anybody as well. Like, it's a sort, sort of place I think anybody can go and find something to do and see. And Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully we'll see you next time, homies. <laughs> Peace out, brethren. Stop. <laughs> Peace out, gangsters.